Okay, JD, I thought we'd just look at your run here at Magic Slaw one more time, but this time side by side with uh, the runner up, uh, Jay. And, um, you know, maybe it'd help us compare a little bit some stuff. So, again, you had, a, you had a great day, good run. This is a solid second run you had. I've been telling you not to push the pole down. He he clearly did too. But um, so we've been talking about you know giving your feet a little more space between them at the top of the turn after the transition. Really hard you can get to get a you know high edge angle at the top of the turn to have that nice platform to push against. And you can see him over here clearly a little more width could really roll them up at the top of the turn you not so much right so once you get in the fall line then you widen him he's gonna arc this whole top of the turn and really carry some speed you know through this arc because it's a little more skidded up there and then you start kind of pressuring down in here and it's, it's late his pressure is up here top turn rise line through fall line and he's done he's really done right there move to the new ski again similar thing um, you can see his width in here and able to really kind of arc back a little bit to the pole here maintains a consistent width throughout the entire time here Right, so your shape is, as we said before, like J shape. It's all down here. He's gonna have a nice clean arc right around. So he's finishing out earlier and higher on, uh, you know, tighter to the gate. Uh, bring his shape back here. You can see where he's just about ready to hit the hit the gate. Um, you know. See the direction, you're both just about ready to hit the gate. He's got significant direction done, and you're still going down the hill. So yours is clearly behind, uh, you know, below, much more below the gate. And you came out a little low because you were below the gate, so, you know, could have, you know, certainly up altered how you see this one, but again, tight feet. But I think you were late and low coming in, so. Unfortunately, late kind of turns into later. You know, here's, here's that hairpin, which I already mentioned. You did a great job coming through here. Um, but still, you, we talk about hairpins where we need direction coming out to really give our feet room so we can have a strong exit and have direction coming out. And um, although I said you did a good job, look at, look at the more direction that he has. Gives his feet room. Your feet were kind of tight right in here uh, initially, and you're hitting the gate right there. He's hitting it, and he's got significantly better direction, you know, coming out of this. So whenever we're in a combination, when we have to, the next gate, gate is offset, make sure we give our feet room for a nice strong exit coming out, direction coming out. Similar thing, you know, look at the space between his legs there. He really gives himself, you know, gives his feet room at the gate. That's what we've been talking about with you. you see here, you're not you don't give your feet any room at the gate, so it's all down here. Alright, he'll come through here and top of the turn, kind of give his feet a little room above. So they can bring it back to the gate. Now we got a little in the back seat there, but so did you and back on track now though. Good turn in there.
Both of you making some good turns in here. As we said the other one, uh, pushing the pole down, you're kind of collapsing at the waist and bending over. He'll come through here and stand pretty comfortably and upright with upper body. Not, not straight upright, but I mean, just not collapsing at the waist. Need a strong core. Hairpin here. Um, and we said before, use the wrong hand. Using your right arm all the way throughout. We need to strong exit coming out cross block. He comes in left arm. He's got an inside arm clear, we call the top one. Using the same arm, cross block the exit. So, you know, now he's got a tighter and better direction coming out because now, you know, those gates, those two middle gates are right in front of him. So he clears them out with the, with the opposite or left hand. You're coming in here, they're not in front of you because you're using the wrong hand. It's really hard to clear with the right hand here and have them in front of you. Um, so you're taking a wider line coming out, wider a little, and a little bit lower coming out uh, from the hairpin. He's on a slightly higher line. Gives his feet lots of room at the top of the turn, right? So you can bring it back. This isn't bad, but and then through here, now it's a race to the finish down this last quarter on the flat. You both did a great job. One more hair uh, flush to go here. Nice job there, JD. where I don't mind like pushing these pole gates down towards the finish because we really don't need the pole plant and we're wailing down kind of going straight to the finish so in any event I thought it might be helpful to, to uh, check you out next to him um, as we said you know, I need to give your feet a little bit more well room between them at the top of the turn have a consistent width th uh, throughout the turn and, tr and transition the whole time and also give your feet some room by the, at the top of the turn by the gate so we can bring shape back and have more of a comma-shaped uh, turn than some of that J shape and have well, less going on below the gate. We want to be above it, turning above it when it's offset and steep to bring shape back. Now flat like the end here, then we can run at them straight. But uh, anyway, good job. Top 15, we love it. And uh, more to follow.